Uh, I just don't know why you wouldn't want to spend the night. Throughout the years, Godzilla has evolved to symbolize many different concepts and ideas. So we'll be discussing Godzilla's origin. I just don't know why you wouldn't want to spend the night. And end with the current day as a criticism of Japan's government. So let's start with the I just don't know why you wouldn't want to spend the night. I already told you. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Godzilla's history began in 1945 with the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, easily one of the most catastrophic events to ever face Japan. I the first just don't know why. Please, the night. I'm gonna get, get my mom, and she's gonna be so pissed off. The second yeah, bomb in Nagasaki I... would go on to kill an estimated 40,000 Your mom's not gonna help at all. World War II due to the power of a new and most cruel bomb. However, many of the people of Japan were not I really heard my name. <laughs> What's going on, my dear daughter? The person not. The war concerned with censoring anything involving atomic bombs. In an interview with the Criterion Collection, Japanese film critic Tano Sato would go on to say things like factual reports about Hiroshima and Nagasaki were very strictly censored. Only sentimental treatments of the subject were allowed. It wasn't until seven years later, 1952, and the Japanese were finally able to approach the tragedy and showcase it and its horrors on the big Sorry about that, yo. Uh, I just don't know. Why? 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 Why would you not want to spend the night with me? Why? 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 Because I don't like spending the night with you. I've already been through this like 18,000 times. I don't like spending the night with you. I'm going to get my mom and she's going to be so pissed off at you. Yeah, right. Yeah, huh? She's going to be so mad. I heard my name. What's going on, my dear? What's going on, my dear? She won't spend the night with me. Spend the night with her. She just got home from her kidnap. So, you're going to have to spend the night. Hey, hey. Little baby going to cry. Are you going to cry? Hey, 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 hey. Little baby gonna cry. Little baby gonna, gonna cry. Little baby gonna cry. No, I'm not gonna cry. <clears throat> Ow! <clears throat> Mommy! 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 Oh, we mommy, mama, mama, oh, we. She's gonna be so mad at her. Mommy, <laughs> she hurt me. She has to do something for me now. Oh no, my poor baby. Ariel, uh, she faked it. My baby would never do that. You're gonna have to spend the night with her. Ow! Ow! Okay, um, I'll be gone, my dear. So, let's get down to business. What business, your face? <laughs> no, give me some gum now.
Okay. Oh, go get you some gum. In the film, Godzilla's presence brings radioactivity with it. This not only harms the people, but also specifically the tuna in the film. After the bombing at the Kenya Toll, Japan was left with a shortage of tuna. Okay, let me get a pack out of there. Let me just get a little one out there. Okay, now I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to lay here. Yes, ma'am. And is a reminder of the consequences of humanity's actions. By the film's end, humanity's This girl can't open her own pack of gum. As as in the film. It's never a question of if the creature's gonna die, but when. When the creature's face with humanity, it is clear which will prevail. It's no surprise that when the creature's face with humanity, it's right there. Okay, it's gonna be a dead end. The film was a massive box office success. Ooh, yummy. This is my practical princess gun. It's my favorite gun. Right, Ariel? We're... Why do we have to be recording about this? Because you're going to have to act like you don't want to spend the night. I already did that. But let me go As ahead and eat some of my gum. Watch the video now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.